Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at some common problems with your eject button on your PlayStation 4 original uh, and some reasons why it doesn't work. But if you want to head over and click on subscribe and then we can get started. If when you hit the eject button on your console it doesn't make any noise whatsoever and the disc isn't coming out of the console there's a problem with the eject switch. If you hit the button it makes a noise and you can hear the disc inside the console trying to come out you may have a mechanical problem. I'll put a link underneath this video where you can go and troubleshoot your PlayStation 4 mechanical issues. But right now we need to look at the eject switch, so let's get the console open. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is take a Torx Security TA screwdriver and open up the console. So turn the console over and we want to remove the bottom screw, this one here. And also the two end screws. We can now remove this bottom shell, pull it up at the back, lift up and remove. Let's turn the console round. And this is the eject button here. So the first thing to do is make sure that it's clean. So this metal contact here gets covered in dust and debris and you need to clean it off. So with some paper towel, just give the contact a nice clean. Very often this will resolve your eject button issues. Plug the console in and test it out. And if you still have a problem, it could be to do with the bottom shell. So now that you've cleaned the contact, plug the console in and we need to test this contact and make sure it works before we do any further troubleshooting. So I've now got it plugged in and you want to hear, when you put the finger on this little contact, you want to hear the beeping noise like that. So we know that the drive is working. So the next thing to do, if your console still doesn't eject any discs, we need to look at the bottom shell to make sure it's touching this switch properly. So let's take a look at the shell. If we take a look at the inside of the shell here, this metal contact actually touches the switch on the Blu-ray drive and activates the switch. You need to check the shape of it and the shape needs to be exactly like I'm showing you here. Take a good look at the shape there. If this metal contact here has been distorted or squashed or changed, you need to bend it manually with your finger so that it looks exactly like this here. If it doesn't, it won't work. It's going to be trial and error. Try and get this reshaped so that it's in this position here. And then you need to slot it on top of your console and test it out until it works properly. Line up the switch here with the case. Put the lid on. Go and test the console and if it still doesn't work when you click on the eject button you need to open it back up, manoeuvre the metal clip until it fits exactly on top of the switch. So we've now adjusted the metal clip inside the bottom shell so that it lines up perfectly with the surface mounted switch on the Blu-ray drive and now it's working we can see that it's touching the contact and it's working okay. This can take 10-15 minutes of playing around until you get it to exactly touch the contact. So be patient, you will get it to work.